Hey, I wanted to take a minute and talk about this uh, TPMS system from TimeMate. I, uh, I use this with my fifth wheel camper and you can see I have it mounted up on the dash there of my Nissan Titan. I actually just used a command strip to hook it there. At any rate, I picked this up uh, so that I could see, you know, what was going on with my trailer tires, you know, while we're driving down the road. And so far I've been pretty happy with this thing. It does give me that peace of mind, you know, I'm able to just look right at it and see, you know, that all the temperatures and pressures are about the same. Luckily, I have not had any uh, tire failures yet, but I'm sure someday it'll happen. And I'm hoping that with this, you know, I may be able to catch it before it becomes a blowout and damages my RV. There's only one reading on the screen right now. That number on the left indicates there's 79 pounds of pressure, and then uh, the 73 is the uh, current temperature and Fahrenheit of that tire. Uh, there's only one showing right now because the sensors that go on the valve stems themselves, they have an auto shutoff feature to save battery. So, you know, we've been parked here for a little while, so of course they shut off. So I went over to one of the tires and just kind of tapped on the valve stem. It's like a, sense, a motion sensor that turns it back on. Just that way you could see what it looks like with the readout there. Obviously, as soon as you start driving, it populates there with all four tires. Uh, it does charge via USB or it does have a uh, solar panel there on the top. And I've been using this uh, since about June of 2022 and I've never had to plug it in yet. It seems like it charges just fine uh, from the little solar panel. I do shut it off, however, when I'm not towing. Uh, one con, however, is this LCD screen. It's not backlit really, so right now it's a pretty cloudy day and it's easy to see. But if the sun was shining, and you know, directly on it, it's, you know, it it gets kind of washed out and it's hard to read. Anyway, you know, I think it's a pretty good value. It's uh, worked really well for us so far. I do wish the screen was brighter. Um, I have not driven with it at night, so I you know can't say you know, how, how easy it is to see there. I do believe there is like a night mode that offers some kind of backlight, but I honestly haven't tried it yet. Um, I'll show you the uh, sensors that go on the valve stems real quick. So here's a quick look at the uh, sensor that actually attaches to the valve stem. It's a really simple process. Uh, they come with these little rubber boots to help seal it up, but basically you just take off your uh, your valve stem cap and you put the little rubber boot on first you thread these guys on you can see they're all labeled you know this one's obviously left front that's already paired to the device in the truck so uh, the batteries come you know already installed we've had them for about eight nine months now and I guess the batteries are still fine they still are working um, that's probably because they do shut off you know when you're set up and stationary like this so that's really helpful. Thanks for watching.